I want to do a review on my dish network system I have in the travel trailer. This is HD, a 40 inch TV that came with the camper. There's a Jensen. Uh, first thought when I was at campgrounds and I seen people with those uh, satellite dishes and stuff, I thought it was way too expensive for me, but Dish recently had a promotion when you sign up for Dish at your house, you get the receiver for your RV free. All you have to do is buy the satellite. Uh, they came out with a newer satellite tailgater playmate. Tailgater was what they used for a long time. Now they came out with a playmate and those are uh, 250. I called a couple weeks before, they were 299. So it saved 50 bucks with the newer technology they have out. These are the remotes that go with uh, everything I have in the RV. This one's for the fireplace. This is for the dish. And this is for the Roku. This is for the TV. This is for all the neon lights. And this is for the drive DVD CD player. Uh, they call this a a Wally is the type of box that you get and it's compatible that dish satellite dish is compatible with a couple of different type of receivers some people take the receiver out of their house and they don't have to buy one um, I have hopper 3 and 5 joeys and the joeys have to communicate to a hopper and the hopper is huge. I mean, that, that thing's every bit of a size of a cookie sheet and uh, kind of thick, like an old school VHS player, maybe half the size of that. Way too big to fit in here. But with their newer technology they have, this remote will still change channels, even with the Wally being in there, being closed behind that piece of wood. And Dish is the only one that actually has. HD quality. If you go with direct TV, you cannot get HD with direct. You can only get SD. That's part of the reason that I went with Dish. And that's just for the uh, RV. You can get HD with direct in your house, but not your RV. So it's fairly simple to hook up. That is the satellite dish when you buy the dish you get that white helmet looking piece you get a set of directions and a 20 foot cable the stand that came with it I got from Walmart I think it was thirty dollars So it's really, really simple to hook up. You just find your inlet for satellite, satellite in, cable in, screw the coax in, set your dish. Where it can get a signal and see the southern sky. Come into your RV and find where your cables go. This is for the cable that we saw back there. This one has antenna. This one's for the satellite. Make sure this is uh, turned off at your booster. You do not need the booster on. Because I walked in front of that dish, it threw me back down to SD. So if you have a really bad signal, it will throw you into SD. Now it's back on HD. 
So if you put your dish in a place where you go camping, where there's kids riding bikes or people walking by and it loses that signal, it's going to keep throwing you back to SD. So I'd definitely put it somewhere where it's not a trip hazard and not in anybody's way. We look up the signal and the signal I'm getting right now is about 36. It does not go to 125 from what the uh, installer told me when he installed it in the house. I was pulling uh, I think a 57 and I asked him if that was normal and he said yes. You usually don't get any more than 50 or 60. So uh, 35 is a good signal for an RV for that dish. And this will repeat off of your house. So if you have whatever package you have on your house, if you have this at home, um, you can pick up the same channels in your RV. Now, if you don't have it at home, then it's going to cost like 80, 80 some dollars a month, depending on what package you go with. And they do have a pay as you go where if you want to call have it turned on you pay for 30 days and it's on for 30 days after that it shuts off there's no contracts on that that's if you want to use a pay as you go and not uh, sign a contract for two years and subscribe you got netflix on there if you have a netflix account Uh, now the hopper I have in the house has YouTube, so you can actually pull up YouTube as well. So that's the dish. There are a couple different types of uh, satellite dishes. If you want more than one receiver, the uh, Playmate will not work. You got to go with a different type so you can have more than one receiver. Um, if you do hook this up, I actually have a outlet on the side of my RV for putting the TV outside. That's here, and uh, this is outbound cable. So if you screw that in, you should pick up the satellite or the cable feed. That's your electrical outlet. And then you just put your bracket on there and hang your TV and you can watch your TV outside. Back in the bunkhouse. I've known you my whole life, and I can honestly say there's no one like you. Thanks. Who knew my sister's wild, bad influence best friend would be the one to remind my brother that he was special? That's about it for the satellite. Yeah, there was a couple of other options. Uh, I forgot to mention, if you have dish at home, it's only $7 a month to add your RV to it. And in the months that you're not camping, November, December, January, February, March, if you don't camp during the winter season, you can call or go online to your account and shut off the receiver for your RV and save you $7 a month. You can turn that one on and off as you want to. It's not under contract. You own that equipment, and if you only camp 
you know, if you have a year where you've got some stuff going on and you can only camp one time, then it only costs you seven bucks for that year because you only camped one time. And when they turn it on, it's on for a month at a time. Um, dish is uh, not too bad on their signal. The biggest hesitation I had was going with a dish is just if it storms, if it rains, thick clouds, you lose signal. That's just what you get with a satellite. And uh, dish hasn't done too bad on that. The day they installed it, it rained fairly decent. And we never lost signal, never interrupted it. Uh, the next day it rained pretty good. And it just pixelated for a second, and that was it. So your house, you have, I have a hopper, three, and five GOEs. Um, I have six TVs total. So if you want something with eight, nine TVs in your house, you are only going to be able to get six with a hopper and five GOEs. You would have to go with another hopper, but when you do that, if you have two hoppers, the Joey has to pair to a hopper. So if your master bedroom has a Joey in it and it's paired to the hopper one, you can only see the DVR recordings off hopper one. If you have a second hopper, you will not be able to access those recordings. So your hopper is like your brain and you can only put up to a certain amount of Joey's on that hopper. And then if you have to go with a second hopper, those two hoppers, in a sense, will not talk to each other or share data. Um, if you want recordings in your RV, you will have to purchase a separate hard drive, which I think discharges a one-time $40 activation fee. And you hook that up with your Wally in your RV, and that will record off of your Wally in your satellite in your RV. Um, you cannot take recordings from your house and put them on the hard drive and take it with you when you go camping. Or so I don't believe that you can do that. So that, that's one of the downfalls. Um, the other part of DISH, and I think Direct offers this as well, uh, we have AT&T internet at the house, which is uh, really good source for internet really happy with it uh, if you get a storm that comes through you can actually pull up the dish anywhere app and then ping that to your hopper and watch that on your big screen tv so if you have a storm that's bad enough or you get some serious snow coming down and you can't get out to your dish to get it cleared you can always just take your household tablet or your phone and ping it to your tv and just watch it right off your your phone or your tablet. So this is the dish that's on the house and there's an app that is out there. It's uh, $10.999 and it is called Dish for My RV. And what this does is it finds the satellites for you. So when you go camping you can see here you can Obviously, you can use your compass Let's see kind of blurry okay if you go into your compass it gives you a good idea of which way southwest is. I think we're actually supposed to be somewhere around 220-ish, somewhere in there to pick up a signal. And then if you go to Dish for My RV, it actually gives you like uh, real time. If you're looking through there, you can see the pool right behind it. So you're just going to go up, and when the satellites appear, they'll pop up. There they are. Those are the three satellites that your dish needs to connect to. To pull your, your signal. Now if, if you have a clear line of sight,
you have a clear line of sight for those satellites. There's nothing that's obstructing it. So if you have tree branches that you can see, you'll still be able to see the satellites, but if you have tree branches that show up in there, you, you know you're not going to be able to pull the signal with your satellite dish that way. I think it's a pretty cool app. It's a real quick way to find out exactly where your satellite dishes are. Okay, this might get the sun out of it a little bit, so. You see the square there with the centerpiece? Your objective is to get those satellites in that, inside that square with no obstruction. So there's the three satellites. So if we were to walk closer, if we got any closer, you can see where the house would actually block. Yeah, you can see those through the house. So if you sat your satellite here, you're not gonna draw a signal because your house is blocking the satellites. I know there is a dish somewhere I think it's number 110 that is here on the, it's like northwest, it's not southwest. And this should find any satellite. You can kind of see. There it is, 110. See it on the right hand side there. I uh, wouldn't get a very good signal if I was trying to lock onto that one because of that tree that's there. So I think it's a great app. Not something Dish endorsed at all. I just kind of was looking around for satellite finder and that's what, that's what showed up.